Hey y'all. My lips was actually had to go get my lip gloss. Give me a second. Okay, and we're in action. So if you follow me on any of my social medias, you know that I got my hair straightened again for another length check and here's my hair almost to my waist. Waist is here, hair is there. So just wanted to come to you guys really quickly. As you can see, this was a kind of like on the spot. I'm looking over here because my mirror is all the way over there. On the spot kind of thing. Um, some people did ask me how do I maintain my straight hair when it starts getting puffy and fluffy and stuff like that. Because y'all know I work for FedEx and sometimes I'll be working hard. So it gets a little puffy and fluffy. Um, for the most part, I usually have like some type of curl in there. But I don't recurl it. Um, so thing I do when I want to have like some type of curl or swirl in my hair. And I want to kind of calm down the frizz. I pin curl my hair. So. I'm just going to show you guys really quick how I go in and pin curl my hair. Um, as you can see, this first layer here um, kind of makes one big curl. So I'm going to take that section first. And I literally, let me bend my head down. Twist it around. And you see, it's kind of like a curl. And I'm going to kind of create like a loop or a circle. And... I'm going to twist that loop slash circle all the way down until it's on my head and I'm going to pin it. Don't mind my greasy face. I have a Jamaican black castor oil on my eyebrows and my eyelashes because you know I need them to grow. But um, yeah, so you're just going to do that for each big section. I like to pin curl on big sections because don't nobody got time to be pin curling all night. Even if there is no curl, it does create a curl for you. So, just going to make the loop. Bring it all the way to the bottom. And since this one doesn't have a curl, sometimes what I do when I pin it down. Okay, I'm having trouble with this one. <laughs> when I pin it down, I pin the end down. Like where the end is. So the end is right here. Pin it down there. It's okay to use a couple pins for one curl. Because some of them be thick, you know. Because we doing big chunks. And there we go. I'm going to put one more in there. And it's okay if they're like sticking up or whatever. It doesn't really matter because we're going to just put a scarf on top. But, yeah. So, really, what is that? Four. No. Oh, that's going to be like six pin curls on my whole head. Only hard thing about y'all always asking me about my long nails. Only hard thing about my long nails sometimes is bobby pins. Like that's literally the only problem I have with my long nails. Trying to keep a freaking bobby pin in my hand. It's the struggle. So I'm gonna do this one. So like if there's no curl at all, you kind of can like create a circle with the end first, like so, and then just. Keep twirling it around. And then like I said before, just pin the end down. So it'll create the actual curl. It's kind of like, uh, not a replacement, but uh, kind of like an, a replacement for flexi riding your hair or put in rollers or whatever in your hair overnight. But without all the pain and sorrow and uncomfortable, uncomfortable, is that a word? Uncomfortableness in your sleep. I'm going to have to redo that one. But when my hair is straight, that's the only time I really wear a scarf. When my hair is straight. Okay. Okay. So... I don't know what that piece of hair is doing. Only thing that really doesn't really, you know, last is my edges, but that's nothing new. I don't know why this piece of hair is hanging, but I'm just going to pin it in there. It's okay if there's some pieces hanging out. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. Like this one right here. I have a total of six huge pin curls 
And for my scarf, I always go in with my scarf I got from Her Given Hair. It's um, basically an opening here. And then it has like the little drawstring. So you're going to loosen up the drawstring and this end opens as well. Um, the inside is completely silk. And yeah, this is basically my favorite scarf for when my hair is straight. Well, my favorite scarf, period, because I only wear scarves when my hair is straight. So I'm going to try and fit my big head in here. Without messing up the pink curls. Okay. Like I said, it's okay if some of the hair comes out or whatever. Just, you know. So, I have it over my head and I'm going to pull it up right where my edges are. And then I'm going to make sure the hair is in the scarf. And pull the scarf up like that. And once the scarf is over all the hair, take the drawstring and tighten it. And I go to bed, no hair in my face. And I'm going to sleep wonderfully because I don't have no hard little rods. Oh, I just wiped off my... Mm. I'm not going to have no hard little rods in here, you know, messing with me while I'm tired. I'm trying to get this beauty rest. <sighs> I'm up. Just going to pull the scarf off. And pull the pins out. And you see, Frizz is gone. This curl's a little funky, but it'll fall as the day goes on. But like I said, the Frizz is gone. I have a little bit more curl to my layers, my natural layers, because I do not have layers cut in my hair. And yeah, so I hope I help somebody. And I will see y'all in the next one.